From here, we're going to go back over to talking about Vice President Joe Biden, the former vice president, getting back into jumping into the presidential race officially. Arlette Signs is in Wilmington, Delaware, at the train station in Wilmington, where we saw Joe Biden just jump off the train. Arlette, we, we couldn't hear from the top of the tape exactly what Biden said. What, what did he tell reporters? Well, Kate, this is the first time we're seeing Joe Biden out in public since he officially declared his candidacy. And he was asked about the fact that President Obama did not endorse him uh, in any type of statement this morning. And I also asked him specifically, why is he the best choice for Democrats? Take a listen to what he had to say. Now, Mr. Mayor, I just wanted to ask you quickly, if you are the best choice for the Democrats in 2020, why didn't President Obama endorse you? I asked President Obama not to endorse, and he doesn't want to, this, we should, whoever wins this nomination should win it on their own merits. No, Sir, guys, you? guys, welcome to Delaware. Why you? You and your message very clearly uh, made this about a debate about President Trump, but you're going to have to get through the Democratic primary first. Why are you the best choice for Democrats? That'll be for the Democrats to decide. Thanks. So this, clearly Biden is going to be laying out his plan soon so Democratic voters can decide if he is their candidate to take on President Trump in the general election. Later today, Biden will be heading to Philadelphia for a fundraiser. And then next week, he's going to hit the campaign trail, taking that message directly to voters uh, with an event in Pittsburgh, followed by a tour of the early voting states uh, before he ends his entire campaign uh, rollout, uh, you can say, in Philadelphia on May 18th. His campaign is pointing out that that's the birthplace of democracy and it's going to be a point for Biden to try to unite the country. Kate. And only appropriate for the first time that he's seeing reporters and see, being seen on camera as he's announced his candidacy to be seen in a train station. That is only appropriate for Joe Biden. And, and this train station is also named after Joe Biden. <laughs> I'll, That's I'll a, point that out. That is exactly right. Antrax's favorite passenger. Arlette, thank you so much. Great job getting to him. Really appreciate it. Let me get back over to Jeff Zeleny. Uh, let me bring Jeff back in. Jeff, it was, it, it's very interesting because what we left off our conversation earlier was talking about your what you have heard from president obama from folks around president obama about his process what he's thinking about the race and whether or not he would be, be endorsing and joe biden just saying that that he asked president obama not to endorse uh, Kate, that's right. And uh, really, it was a mutually agreed upon decision, I'm told. Uh, the reality is both of these men have been around politics a long time, and they know that, A, an endorsement wouldn't necessarily work, almost certainly wouldn't work in a Democratic field like this. They both came to the realization, as uh, the former vice president said there, that he has to win this on his own. Now, the question is what happens later? I noticed a bit of wiggle room this morning in the uh, statement uh, provided by the Obama office that I'm not uh, going to release an or have an endorsement at this time or even in the coming mm -hmm. uh, months, but did not rule out endorsing at the end of this. So, Kate, I think that is something to watch here. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. We know that this field will shrink at some point, and at that point, it will be a tough decision potentially for Barack Obama if he is going to try and tip the scales as this is linger on. You know, don't forget in the 2008 primary, boy, that went on until June, that fight with Clinton and Obama. So if it would become a situation like that, he might weigh in. But look, uh, it was not an expected um, endorsement. And uh, Biden there is saying he didn't ask for it. Uh, one thing that I also thought was notable, uh, the fact that uh, that he did not mention Barack Obama at all in his yeah. video this morning, uh, because it goes without saying. When you see Biden, you think of Obama. But also, Jeff, I also found it interesting to Arlette's question when she said, "Why right. are you the best? Why are you the best candidate? Um, why should? Why are you the best choice for Democrats?" He didn't necessarily. At least he wasn't ready to give his elevator pitch, right? His what he was what he was ready to say was, "I'm going to leave that up to Democrats." I thought right. that was interesting. It was interesting. I mean, look, I think his his answer will be, uh, you know, watch the video this morning and it'll be like <laughs> yeah, he has I the stature so. for that. But that is a question that he's going to have to answer. So, OK, really, the campaign started right in that minute with Arlette and the other reporters with Joe Biden at the train station. He'll be Great doing point. thousands of those events. Uh, a scripted campaign video is the easy part. Joe Biden, you covered him on Capitol Hill at the White House as a, as of I. He often likes to talk often off script. So we'll see what he says coming up here. But Kate, this race is now uh, fully engaged and it's going to be a fascinating one. No one knows how it will turn out.
and those off the cuff in you know in between train car moments those conversations right. are just as important or more than any scripted anything that's going to be put out a scripted speech or anything and the, you're more. absolutely right, right. perhaps more that is exactly right that this is a, that was a first first big campaign moment right there for Joe Biden with our lead right. signs good to see you Jeff thanks buddy